right, uh, uh, welcome colleagues to our presentation. In this uh, presentation, we are dealing with the index notation. Yeah, this is a topic that is uh, both uh, is, is found both at junior level and the senior level. So in this presentation, we are just going to deal with an introductory, uh, an introductory part. Uh, basically, we just want to understand what in index notation basically is, uh, what uh, a base and what an exponent or an index is. All right. So with me here, I have some points that I've uh, put up on the board, which will be like your guide as you try to understand these concepts. All right. So to start with, we are saying uh, in two to the power three, for example. In this case, the power three, which is the power, is called an, uh, an index, and the, uh, the two here is called the base. So in two to the power three, two is the base, and the three is an exponent, or an index, or a power. Similarly, for four to the power x. So four to the power x implies that four is the base, and x is, uh, is, the, is our index, x is our power, x is the our exponent. So the whole lot of this one, uh, 4 to the power x is called an exponential function. Alright? So this is uh, an exponential function. Well, of the base and the, the exponent. Now, what is our interest really for, uh, for this presentation? Uh, our interest is to look at uh, the basic rules uh, for indices. Rules that guide the indices. In order for us to be able to manipulate uh, indices without challenges, there are certain rules uh, that we need to apply. There are certain rules that we need to appreciate. And these are the rules that we are going to deal with. Alright? Uh, the first one is multiplication in law. Alright? Which is, for to say, if we have y to the power n, Multiplied by y to the power n. Alright? What is the answer? We are saying if I'm multiplying uh, um, numbers with the same base, which is y and y, what are we saying? You keep the base but deal with the powers. In this case, how do you deal with the powers? You deal with the powers by adding them. So if the base is the same and we are multiplying powers, so what we are going to do is we keep the base, then add the powers. In this case, what is our power here? n. And what is our power here? n. So, our expression or our answer will be y to the base we maintain, because there is y and y. Then you will say m plus n, which is this. Alright? For example, here, if you have got 2 to the power 4 by 2 to the power 3, there is 2 here and 2 here. So the base is the same, so I will maintain the base. And because I am multiplying, and the bases are the same, so we add the powers. So we have two, but our powers are four and three. So four plus three is what? Seven. So this would be your answer if I told you are asked to express, uh, to express your problem in an index form. All right, but if you are told to evaluate, it means you have to find the actual value of this. Okay, the second example is, or the second rule, uh, has to do with the division. So what are we saying? If we are dividing, Numbers with the same base. Even when the powers are different, what happens? You keep the, the base, but you subtract the, the, the powers in the order they appear. So you keep the base, subtract the, the powers in the order they appear. So if we put y, the power m divided by y to the power n, our common cost, uh, base is z, uh, y. But our powers are m and n. So we're saying the rule says we subtract. So we are going to say m minus c n in the way they appear. You, we cannot say n minus m, no. To be m minus c n. Alright? An example is z, 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 to the power 3 uh, implies that we keep the base, which is a 2 here. Alright? So, we keep the base, which is a 2. But what are our powers? 
The powers here are 5 and 3. So 5 minus 3, you get your 2 as your answer. So 2 to the power 2 would be your answer. If I do, you're just expressing the problem in an exponent form. Alright? But if you're asking for a way to get the answer. Another example is this. 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 5. We are dividing these uh, numbers and our power is 2, so we keep the 2. But for the very fact that we are dividing, we subtract the powers. What are we going to do? We we'll say 3 minus 5 and not 5 minus 3. You, you subtract the powers in the order or in the manner they appear. So we are going to say 3 minus 5. And 3 minus 5 is negative. Negative 2. So 2 to the power negative 2. If you are asked to express your answer in an index, a uh, negative index form, so you would leave it here. But in most cases, we don't encourage the negative. So the negative is an inverse. An inverse which implies one over. So it will be this around the negative part here. This. This negative is an inverse, which is one over whatever is here. So one over two to the power two, which is this one. Alright? In this case, that would be your, 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 your answer there. But if you are asked again to evaluate, you are supposed to find the, the actual value of 1 over 2 to the power 4. Okay. That is, that is the division. Now, if you have double powers, what does that imply in an event of double power? It means we just multiply the powers. What is the power m in brackets? Power n means we are going to say y n by n. A very good example is this one. 2 to the power 3 in brackets, power 2. This means that it will be 2, 3 by 2. And 3 by 2 is 6. This is the answer. This is an answer I keep on emphasizing. In an event that you're, you are required to, to express your answer in an exponent form. But if you are asked to evaluate, then you get that your to answer. Another one is the, 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 the fourth one. Y to the power 0. Y to the power 0 uh, is equal to 1. Alright? Now, this has a way of proving. There is a way of proving this statement. Of course, that's not our interest for today. But so, we, we are saying Y to the power 0 is 1. Neither can to the power 0 is 1. Alright? Apart from 0, 0 does not hold here. We cannot say 0 to the power 0 is 1. That one doesn't, doesn't hold. It holds with any other number but for whom? Zero. So you need to take note of that. I hope these uh, rules or laws are very clear. They help us understand the introductory part of the exploitation. So, with me here, I have uh, about six examples. Alright? Let's see how we can work here using what we have. The first one is saying, Okay, the, the overall question is saying evaluate the following. So, to evaluate means we need to get the actual answer, not in the form we are living there. Alright? So, we have A, that is 8 to the power 0. Now, if we use the rule number 4, we are saying 1 to the power, zi, uh, to the power 0 is 1. Similarly, 8 to the power 0 is what? 1. Alright? Of course, there is a way you can prove this, but that's not our interest. Okay, then B, uh, 5 to the power 2 by 5 to the power 1. Now, oh, there's 5 here. Yeah. Now, before you uh, proceed uh, uh, explaining on these things, the best way you can uh, benefit from these videos is as I'm trying to uh, uh, explain them, you pause the video, you get the, uh, like this question, pause, work it out on your own. Then later on, you can compare with what we are going to get. Okay, so now, for 5 to the power. For 5 to the power 2 by 5 to the power the power 1. So this is the same as 5 to the power 2 by 5 to the power 1. Alright? Any number raised to the power 1 is what? It's the number is apart, apart from 0. So here we are going to say 5 to the power um, 2, it is 5 by what? 5. So even if you were to leave out the brackets, it's fine. By 5 to the power, okay, it's 5. It's like we're repeating, huh? But the essence was just to emphasize this. Alright? Alternatively, we can apply this. Uh, this. Maybe that's what we should apply so that we stick to our, to our, to 
or a loose day. Okay. So we can say 5 to the power uh, 3. Because there's 5 and 5, so our common basic will be 5. So we'll say 2 plus what? 1. So this will give us 5 to the power 3. And 5 to the power 3 uh, means we multiply 5 by itself 3 times. So this is 5 by 5 by 5. And the answer becomes 125. This is basically what I was trying to do earlier one day. Okay. So that's what we are going to get. That does not mean that you always go to this state, you can get the answer right from here. Okay, then we can go to, to C. Um, we have 4 to the power of 4 divided by 4 to the power 5. So pause the video, attempt that question. Okay? So now in this case, which rule are we going to apply? I'm sure you can see that it is rule number 2. Right? So what does rule number two uh, says? In this case, you maintain the four, then a minus a, which is the four minus four minus five. Then here we get four. What is four minus five? Remember we say subtract according to the in the way they appear, according to the order. So here we get negative one. Alright? And when you look at this, we are saying we explain the, the negative means and in this. So this will be negative 1 over, over 4. And this one is the, our answer. Alright? If you, if you don't mind, you can even get this as a decimal, but it's okay like that. Then we go to, to C. Oh, it's D, right? Okay, so we have 3 to the power 2, less to the power 2. Now, when you check, uh, on our loose there, I think that is rule number three. So here you multiply the powers. So you have got the two times two. And our answer here will be two to the power uh, three to the power three to the power four. So we have three to the power four goes two by two is four. And uh, three to the power four, three to the power four is what? 81. I hope that's what you have found. Alright, so when you have a double uh, power, you multiply them, then find the value. Then the E, so even for E as well, you pause the video and just write it out. 2 to the power 3 by 2 to the power 1, right? So by bond mass, so here. We can start with the multiplication part. So we maintain the plus. Again, this for this one, you look at the rule number one. So what does it say? You keep the two, then this plus that, um, you get four. Alright? Four. Uh, so we say four to the power zero, we refer to rule number four. What the power zero is one? Mean that four to the power zero is what? One. Very good. A uh, plus. 2 to the power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Alright? So here we have 1 plus 2 by 2 is 4. By 2, 8. By 2, 16. And what we get? The, the, the value is what? 17. Alright? Okay, so. Alright, uh, for f, uh, we have uh, 3x to the power 0, we less to the power 3. Okay, so here we can interpret this. Yes, 1 to the power 0 is what? A 1. So this means this is same as 3 times x to the power 0, everything, power, uh, power 3. So now, x to the power 0 is a 1. Alright? Um, 1 by 3 is a what? Is a 3. So we have 3 to the power 3. That's what you can see. So 3 to the power 3 is what? 27. Alternatively, you can say, you can distribute this. You can distribute the power. 
and they will still be able to arrive at a at, uh, at, uh, 27. Now, for C, we really have to be careful. We almost uh, made a mistake. Look, if you look at uh, rule number two, we say for two to the power negative uh, two, the answer is one over two to the power two. In this case, the value should be positive because of the one. So even here, this is just a uh, ring and slip of a pen. So it's supposed to be one over four. All right? So basically, this is what we are, we are supposed to do. Then for the next exercise, say evaluate. Okay, so you can attempt 4 to the power 3 to the power 2. Okay, that's a, a very big value, but you'll be able to get it. Uh, 10 divided by 10 to the power 8. Get the power 10, then C, uh, 10 to the power 2, then to the power 2, then to the power uh, again 2, then D, we have 4, Y to the power 0, then power 4. Okay, maybe I, I reduce it. Let's say power 2. Then E. Um, okay. 3 times 3. The power 2 and the power 1. F. Um, 5 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 0. To the zero times three to the power one times three to the power two. Okay, I think these are. Let's try again. Thank you for today.